All right, that's oh. All right, you gotta finish it, man. No, they have the coffin. Great tattooers go home all the time on this competition because you're at the mercy of your canvas, and this dude is done. I think I'm going home. This week, we're testing proportion. Proportion is the size of objects in relation to other objects in a tattoo. Today, you must all tattoo the same subject, a Japanese snake. Damn it. Snakes are one of the most symbolic creatures in traditional Japanese tattooing. Traditional Japanese is really hard because it has a whole lot of rules in it. And if you don't know them, you can't follow them. And the one guy who's going to judge you is Taki, and he's going to nail the out of you. Japanese tattoos are infamous for incorporating many different elements to create a dynamic image. In order for the elements to work together, they must be in perfect proportion. There is one more obstacle you must face today. All of the canvases want their tattoos on their ribs. Of course they do. Ribs? You've got to be kidding me. The ribs is one of the most painful areas. With snakes, it's gonna be hard to make those long, sweeping lines. In this elimination tattoo, proportion is important because we're asking them to tattoo a snake, which is recognizable imagery to everybody, and we're asking them to do it in a Japanese style. We're asking them to incorporate something with the snake to really show it in proportion. Pretty cool? Yeah. It's gonna be a beautiful tattoo. I love it. My only concern is, you know, obviously, just sitting through it. If you get dizzy, or if you're feeling like cold sweats, or you're feeling nauseous or something like that, then we'll, then we'll pump the brakes a little bit. I am really worried that my canvas is gonna tap out. But you know, if I'm in pain, I'll take a break. You don't wanna take a break, because when you come back, it'll hurt 10 times more. I'm That's gonna it. take one break, couple right. of break. You don't wanna take a couple of breaks. Once you break once or twice, you're tapping out. I'm stressing the f out right now. You got your job to do, and I got my job to do. Now it's just up to me to execute that, and it's up to you to sit through it. Definitely gonna need a cigarette. Oh. No. Until you take a break, it slows down and you come back and you can't take the pain then, trust me. My canvas is having a really hard time and she's making it vocal. I need your confidence high, you know what I mean? We do it. Mm. I'm doing whatever it takes to make sure that I put a good tattoo in front of those judges today. I just don't wanna let you go and then I gotta drag you back in here by your hair. Don't think I want for 100 grand. If I have to physically hold my canvas down to make sure she doesn't leave, I'm going to do just that. I can't move in the middle of the line sorry, like that, sorry, okay? Sorry, sorry, sorry. Oh, deal. Just be still. Not yet. My body's starting to shake. You signed up for it. I did it! I did yeah, it. you did it. <laughs> Good job. This doesn't look like a tattoo that Scott would do. It's ugly. It feels good to know that I'm the first person to knock Scott Marshall off his throne. Today, you had to show your mastery of proportion by tattooing a Japanese snake on your canvas's ribs. Scott. When you look at this thing from across the room, compared to the other tattoos, this is the one that's hard to tell what the going on. I don't like the layout. I don't like the way it sits on her body. The way you decided to make this background swoop, echo the shape of that snake, makes it hard to tell what's going on. And as far as hitting Japanese, you totally lost it. I did get a little new school with it, but when I'm freehand drawing, I can't help it. My style's gonna come out in my drawing. One of the things about Japanese tattooing is it's not necessarily always about you. It's part of a larger history, a larger culture. So walking in and being like, I'm doing it my way, it's insulting, it's utterly incorrect. She was a tough canvas, man. Her being a tough canvas aside, your drawing's your drawing. If she's a tough canvas, it's gonna show even more in your application, which it doesn't. It's just odd. It's an odd drawing, man. I'm not making excuses. You know, I'm gonna stand behind this piece. It's definitely my least favorite today. And it's applied meticulously, which makes it tough, man. It's a crazy thing, this competition. Scott, you're here because the human canvas jury determined that you had the worst tattoo of the day. I did what I could, man. I had to compromise a lot of design with her, basically just how she sat and everything. You have a very unique style that's your own that you incorporate into everything. This tattoo, you abandoned that. You just kind of got lost in your own design. It has its problems. This would be like my first hiccup since I've been here. I'd like you guys to take that into consideration before you make your decision. Aesthetically, it's definitely the bottom. 
Okay, artists, you have six hours to show detail with Egyptian tattoos. And your time begins now. Let's do it. Yep, let's go. Something for the Sphinx, I think, on the side. The ribs are definitely a tough spot. Anytime we put it on the side, it's going to elongate even more. Mm -hmm. That piece becomes like that. I'm trying to convince my canvas to get it away from his ribs. I want it on my side. I just hope he's able to sit. I'll lay like a rock. I won't move at all. <laughs> Otherwise, there's a good chance of me going home. You're tougher than me, bro, because I wouldn't even attempt it. I've had to fight for every single inch of tattoo that I've put in. He's either moving, shaking, cringing, and it's horrible. I tried to warn you it was going to be a rough area. It's not even about the time. I don't think I'm going to be able to even touch his skin anymore with this needle. I think we would have been done if it was on, like, on another part of the body. Today, you had to create intricately detailed Egyptian tattoos, MV. Well, I am glad you followed Marissa because otherwise I'm not exactly sure if I would know what this is. A sphinx, by definition, is a lion with a human head, sometimes depicted with wings. I just don't think it looks like a sphinx to me. That body looks more like a seal or a sea lion or a walrus. It doesn't look like a lion. In a detail challenge, you have no deliberate detail throughout this tattoo. If you didn't nail this, which I don't think you did, you put yourself in a situation that's tough. Today, you had to take ancient images and translate them to skin, MV. The biggest problem with this one is if it wasn't for the Sphinx head, I wouldn't know what it was. What's a Sphinx? A Sphinx is the lion's body. If you just look at the backside of that body and the belly and the hind leg. I wanted to put more into that. I fought to get that much into it. You put too much as it is. It does not look good. Oh my god. MV, you OK? What's up? What's going on? Detail's what I do. I'm not gonna go out on a detail challenge. I know what I'm doing. Give me another chance to see what's up. The details that you put in this Tattoo Envy make it not look like what it's supposed to look like. So therefore, I think that's the fail. If I don't know what I'm looking at from 10 feet away, I think it'd have to be Envy. All right. Envy. The judges have decided, Envy, you do not have what it takes to be Ink Master. Man, it's not how you get knocked down, it's how fast you get up. And you should be standing, you should be proud. Today, it was just a tough choice that you gave yourself to convey what it was that the subject matter should have been. You'll have six hours to tattoo a Japanese dragon with water. And based on your work, one of you will close shop. Good luck. I love Japanese tattooing. It's what I put my time and my career into. You wanted a full dragon? Or... You just got to show me what it looks like, what okay. it will look like. Yeah. There's so many tricks to these. And if you don't know it, it's almost impossible to replicate. I'm hoping about a lot of things, but it ain't coming off the ribs. OK. I had lap band surgery. You had lap band surgery? I had it done. I lost every 200 pounds. Can I take a look at your ribs? Yeah, sure. Holy crap. A lot of loose skin the swelling of the skin is gonna be immediate. When people lose a lot of weight, their skin becomes very rubbery. It's like thin paper. You can blow a line just by whispering. The biggest thing that I have going against me is your skin. Of course, you gotta overcome and adapt. Is the skin as bad as you thought it was? Oh, the, the skin's bad. Because I lost the weight, is that why? Totally, it's been stretched out. I got the worst canvas of the day because the skin is so fragile. If I'm not careful, it's gonna swell up to the point where I can't tattoo it. Mm. Here I am. Burns so bad. It's not very fun. Oh my. Christian and Clean were clearly out to screw me. I'm a threat and they're trying to take me out, so I appreciate you fighting oh through with this. How you doing, buddy? It's starting to get a little rough. It wasn't for the burn. I'd be straight, man. Sausage is totally rattled. I almost feel guilty. Almost. I'm pretty sure Sausage is going to eat my face tonight. Oh, is he angry? Oh, he's beyond angry. Sausage should be feeling like a little kid, because he's going to get spanked today. Let's take this last stab at it, OK? Oh. My canvas is really feeling the pain. He's kind of jostling around in the chair. This is not making it easy for me to do these really smooth blends that I need to nail. God damn it. I got nothing left. I'm screwed. That's amazing. Thank you, man. The dragon is absolutely awful. There is not one redeeming quality about this tattoo. Sausage is going home, and I'm the boot that kicked him out the door. 
Today, James Vaughn challenged you to the ultimate test of legibility, a Japanese dragon with water. Sausage. The legibility of this tattoo is lost just in the way you shaded it. You put black right up to the edge of the dragon and then black right inside the dragon. It makes it overall messy. The problem with skin that has weight loss, it's much harder when it's deflated. That being said, you do have some anatomy issues. The neck is so thick and then you really taper down to this thin body. It makes it seem like the head is way in the foreground and the rest of the dragon's way off in the background. Your big downfall is the drawing. Today, you were judged on legibility, and based on your work, one of you will be packing your machines. It's now time to find out who the Human Canvas jury chose. Oh, son of a bitch. Sausage, you're here because the Human Canvas jury determined that you had the worst tattoo of the day. Ron, why did the Human Canvas jury vote Sausage to the bottom? They said it was too dark, and that was it. I'm sorry, Ron. This is not where I expected to see you no, at you all. You don't gotta be sorry about nothing. I was a bad canvas. He took some breaks, and we did the best we could. I don't see this being a bad tattoo at all. I don't care what anyone says. I appreciate everything you've done for me. OK, Ron, thanks for joining us, buddy. See you guys. Sausage, this thing just didn't come across. You have a nice standout head if you look at just the drawing, but you didn't do the right things in the shading of this tattoo to accentuate that. I definitely have some shading issues. He was getting sensitive, but my technique is flawless. When I see black tucked into whiskers like that, my immediate response is somebody was trying to cover up a mistake. The scales are done well, the, the face is done well. It's not like I'm gonna go back upstairs and the bed. I'm gonna come back out swinging for the fences again. If Sausage's tattoo walked into my shop, I would question whether that person knows how to tattoo. But I do feel that mine was more legible. I don't. Judges, it's time to decide who is going to be packing their machines. Are we talking between Megan Jean and Sausage yeah. right now? Both have problems with legibility. As far as the Japanese dragon goes, Megan, your execution's cleaner, but yours is really camouflaged. Sausage, I commend you for the application and for everything that went in, but the anatomy fails you. Final decision. When I look at Megan Jean's tattoo, it appears cleaner to me. My vote is for Sausage. Chris. Megan Jean. Damn. The judges have decided. Megan Jean, you do not have what it takes to be Ink Master. Okay. Today, you must tattoo a peacock. <gasps> With so many colors and textures to capture, precision is essential, or your peacock will go from bold to blur. Peacocks are so challenging. There's thousands of feathers, a million little lines, multiple layers of texture. You can easily screw up. I'm gonna start looking up some reference really quick, okay. and we're gonna get an idea of what you like um, color-wise, style-wise, okay. design-wise. The colors that I want, I want to kind of be like, like a phoenix colors, like oranges and like burnt, you know, burnt oranges and reds and purples and stuff like that. I am a black and gray artist. Precision in color is not one of my strong points. We don't want it to look too close to a phoenix. But I do want the colors, the oranges and the reds and you the You want purples. like burnt colors? Yes, yes. Got it. So you want it starting on the top of your ribs and kind of going down your hip and then a little bit fanning onto the butt. Onto the butt, like the tail going onto the butt and right, then to so the front kinda, of the thigh. So in the time frame that we have, if we start higher up on your ribs, mm -hmm. you're only gonna get down to here. The only thing I really care about is the location and the size and then like the color scheme as well as the realism of the head. What she's asking for is legitimately like a 30 hour tattoo. I wanted it to kind of go like here and the head go down the body to about here and then the tail go like that. I'm screwed. So the way it's gonna sit on your body is kinda like this. That sound good? Yep. I have a canvas nightmare. She wants a full-bodied peacock that goes from her ribs down to her knee and unwilling to budge. If I make it through this, I'm gonna make Dave eat that skull pick. Let me know if I just gotta cover my cooch a little. Uh, I'm definitely gonna run out of time, so I have to shorten it a little bit. There's no time to finish the tail. So I wipe off 50% of my stencil, freehand some on, and start over. Plan B. I'd rather simplify something last minute than try to rush and half-ass. Dave gave the only two rib to knee tattoos to the only two girls on the team. I don't know if it's because we're strong players or if it's just because we're girls. 
I know it's hard, just breathe through it. I only have like two or three more back here. Five, four, three, two, one. That's it, machine's down, time is up. No more ink. Just lay there, okay? Okay. Hey, really do you? It's not my fault that Gia wasn't able to scale down her tattoo. It's not my fault that Ryan put a lot of detail in hers. What do you think? It looks so pretty. Yay. Oh my gosh, I love it. I gave them difficult canvases because I thought they could handle it. Today, you had to show precision by tattooing a peacock. Ryan. This tattoo, for me, is a big time bummer. Any area that you zoom in on this tattoo, you find problems. There's areas where your color goes out of the line. There's areas where things just aren't solid and smooth and clean. Today being a precision challenge, this is the worst day for you to do this kind of stuff. It was just a horrible case of very poor time management. You being one of the top dogs on your team to doing this, big decline. Gia. Your canvas wanted a massive tattoo. I had a nightmare from the beginning to the end. <laughs> This thing is rough. It is big, but there's certain areas that in a precision challenge is hurting you so bad. Where did you start? I started with the head. That would be the area with the least amount of mistakes because it's where you started. But there's blue completely outside the lines on the bottom of the chin, on the neck. This entire thing is debatably the worst tattoo of the day. I cannot imagine having this canvas. It's a client. You want to pay your rent, you tattoo that Canvas, period. That's how we live. It sucks to get a bad one. I get it. But just starting. If there's not that first good pull, that pull was never coming. I know she's on the opposite team, but I have to say, the drawing is more aesthetically pleasing than a lot of other people that did not get reamed as hard. It all evens out in the wash. The one that debatably had the nicest composition had debatably the worst possible technical flaws in it. You'll have six hours to tattoo a detailed natural disaster. And if your work is a disaster, your shop will be out. Good luck. Today, we're testing these artists on detail. Tom. What's going on? Justin, nice to meet you. Whether it be a tidal wave, an earthquake, explosions, you have to show movement. What you looking at you A hurricane crashing against the shore. Could be dust, fire, wind, water, some type of force that's going to demolish something. A forest fire? Yes. If you're a tattooer that doesn't have a versatile bag of tricks, it's going to be very difficult to pull off a natural disaster. Volcano, huh? Big as you can get, yeah. Are you open to moving there, or are you pretty sad? No, I'm, I'm with the ribs. Can you just take off your shirt for us? I'm nervous about him sitting for six hours on his ribs. He wants it big, he wants it bold. It's a lot of saturation. Did you see Carlos in there? Yeah. It's massive. That's what they do all day, though, every day. Like Anchor is a world-class shop, and it is known the world over for having really great realism artists. How you guys doing? I'm gonna have to jam on it. <sighs> I'm confused at this point that I am even in an alliance in this competition. I think they gave us the harder one, maybe to try and knock us down a little bit. I'm biting my lip off right now. Honestly, I feel like we could really shine. I just hope that time is on our side. It's too big, dude. It looks smaller when you put the stencil on, but then you forget about all the color around the outside. Today, every detail counts. Black Anchor. The perimeter shape is just an obtrusive big smear on the side of his body. You gotta leave some open skin. It's like everywhere you look in this tattoo is a cover up. The only contrast you have is from the areas of solid color to the areas of light color you did. As far as details go, there's no detail. This is one of the rougher tattoos I've seen here. Today, you tattooed scenes depicting natural disasters. Based on your work, one shop will be packing their machines. Let's hear from the jury of peers. Why did you vote Think Before You Ink to the bottom? One we could tell was a volcano when you look at it, and this, you can't really decipher what it is right off the bat. Today is a crazy day. You guys say the worst tattoo is not Black Anchor. As far as details, we were trying to compare the problems in each tattoo, and so we felt like- So you think like... the details in Think Before You Ink are not as detailed as that volcano? I mean, look at the Ferris wheel. It was a yes and no question, Chan. I feel like ours is a little bit more recognizable. Yeah, I didn't have any detail in that tattoo. It's a little bit more dynamic than yours. Dynamic. It wasn't dynamic day. It was detailed day. Black Anchor.
This is a large, unappealing spot on this guy's body. Detail could easily be added to that. Back at the shop, we do multiple sittings, and I know that's not this the case isn't back this at time. the shop. We're judging on today, and today it's just this blocked out mass with no detail on detailed day. But if we did get another shot, pick ourselves out of this slump, you know, this is their third, third time. time. And you guys keep throwing that around, like, so what if we've been down here before? At the end of the day, we're looking at it now, like they said. I'm gonna keep it 100% honest. I think Black Anchor did the worst tattoo of the day. My vote's for Black Anchor. The judges have decided, Black Anchor, you do not have what it takes to be master shop. It's a bummer, man. If I was picking teams, I would've had you guys first pick. But on any day, worst tattoo goes. Doesn't matter what you've done. Please pack your machines and move out. You have six hours to show creativity tattooing a difficult part of the body. And your time starts now. All right, let's go, guys. Let's All get right. it. How do you want to do it? Apocalypse the Angel. Okay. He has a staff standing by a tombstone with the crow there with his hand out. Do you want to do like a full body type of thing? Yeah. I'm at the mercy of this asshole who will not budge on his idea. Do you feel comfortable just doing him? Nah, man. I need it to look like this apocalyptic in the background. You know, I'm gonna put a background behind it. Mm. That's a lot of to cram into a six hour tattoo on the ribs, you know? There's no way I'm gonna be able to pull this off. Just keep pushing through. Oh, yeah, man. Get this man. Yeah, I got it right. I think Kyle's in trouble. Kyle's dude's hurting a little bit. And the drawing sucks. There's some real shaky lines in it. You think his drawing's better than TJ's? TJ's is realism. You can't tell what it is. Get the f out stop. of here. When you guys were on top, it was all fun. You guys no. wanted to run your mouse and Dude. talk a bunch of shit, And now you lost two in a row, and your people went home. That's how it goes. Wait till your dudes start going home. It, and it's going to happen. I know it. Tony, we should just pack it up, man. Christian's right. <laughs> <laughs> My chemist wants a 16-hour tattoo condensed into six hours, but he's squirming like a little bitch. Ah, damn, damn this. All right, that's, oh, All right. You gotta finish it, man. No, you gotta call it Oh, you gotta finish it. Great tattooers go home all the time on this competition because you're at the mercy of your canvas. And this dude is done. I think I'm going home. Don't plan your funeral before your body dies. Even if he was being a dick, Kyle is still my little brother and I love him and I want him to do well. It's so difficult knowing that I can't do anything to help him out. Today, you are being tested on creativity, tattooing difficult body parts. Kyle. I like the illustration, but you shaded over your own artwork. What you're missing here, man, is different values. Contrast. You've got one tone of black. you got the same value in the cloak, the beard, the staff, the hood, the wing, and the background. Something's got to be lighter or darker. I definitely would have gone in there with more tones had he been able to sit longer. This one's probably the biggest struggle you've had since you've been here. You'll have six hours to show composition, tattooing a Japanese temple. Fail to impress the judges, and you'll be sent home. Good luck. <laughs> I hate tattooing ribs, especially after my last canvas, where he almost tapped out and sent my ass home. I love your idea, man. Yeah. I can tattoo the ribs, no problem, but most people can't sit for it. The last dude I had, big, tough guy, it almost sent me home, because yeah, he wouldn't yeah. sit still. He kept taking breaks every five minutes. Is there any other way you would um, to do anyone else? I wonder how many canvases are gonna fold today. How many guys are gonna change it from a rib or they're gonna change the style? Don't listen to them. Test your oh, artists. Wow. Do they deserve to make it? It's final eight. How many artists are gonna step up to Don't the listen plate? To that joker. Do what your canvas wants today. Can't do a rib, can't do a chest, can't do a style. Don't deserve to be here. Yeah, we'll see, man. Today, these artists are gonna be tattooing Japanese temples. I mean, I could just continue this as part of the end of this statue. No, that's perfect. These artists are going to have to really work on composition, constructing the temple in a way where you have a foreground, some background. That coupled with temples, anything can happen. 
you doing alright? Mm. Team Christian, they didn't just send me a grenade, they dropped a nuke on me. Every week they're gunning for me. As soon as I pop my head up from the water to catch a breath, they push my head back down. It's just exhausting having to fight every single day. What's going on with this front over here? It just kind of like has a scratchy line. It just looks unfinished. I hate everything about this tattoo. This thing's crooked as hell. I'm doing what I can to save it, but you know, this thing's Mine was stressful. The ribs is definitely tough, man. The skin is so thin, dude. There's always gonna be like little hiccups here and there. They might hit you on a couple of spots. Hey, Kyle, what do you think about having ribs for dinner? Like them well done? <laughs> You're a dick. <laughs> Today, you're being tested on composition, tattooing Japanese temples. Kyle. You had a tough challenge. The line work definitely gets away from you as far as all the straight lines being parallel in direction. It's pretty much no way to make the bottom of this bridge look straight with the angle of the temple. It just wraps a little bit, and it did get a little bit skewed in the process. It's a tough spot to put a man-made structure. Yeah, exactly. The thing that's throwing your design off the most first, your tattoo is just all shaded in the same way. There's a lot of similar tonality here where you can't really back yourself out of a corner. Today, you are being tested on composition. Based on your work, one of you will be packing your machines. Kristen, why did your team vote Kyle to the bottom? We just felt that Kyle's seriously was the worst tattoo of the day, hands down. At first glance, that's a solid tattoo. I think Kyle's looks pretty rad. Definitely looks like a powerful, dramatic tattoo. It was like a powerful earthquake blew up the whole neighborhood. Not only is the pagoda leading, but the bridge is leaning completely the opposite, incorrect way. You would have served yourself a big help putting the stencil on in two parts, placing the pagoda, placing your bridge. You didn't need to be pigeonholed to that stencil. It's a curve, and the indents of the rib cage made some lines look a little wobbly. You can't straighten up a crooked structure. It's gonna stay, though. Yours is gonna fall. No, out. it's gonna stay. It'll be light, but it'll stay. I feel like it's between Amanda and Kyle, and I'm really torn because I like the weight of Kyle's tattoo. From a distance, it has a lot of contrast. It's dark. It reads more like a temple to me. And Amanda's, when you really get into the temple, the upper tier of it, is just a lot of inconsistencies on lines and shapes and patterns. My vote is for Amanda. They both have line work problems. They both have dimensional errors. But Kyle's definitely stands out as having the most crooked stuff going on. My vote's for Kyle. Kyle, I want to keep you here, man. But this is just the most challenged tattoo of the day. I hate to do it, man, but Kyle. The judges have decided. Kyle, you do not have what it takes to be Ink Master. Please pack your machines and close shop. Thank you. Later, guys. Today, you must transform your canvas into a warrior by tattooing Shoulder armor. Shoulder armor is difficult. Got to do a huge tattoo, cover a whole shoulder piece. This is crazy. But that is not all. You must work in pairs, <gasps> tattooing both of your canvas's shoulders at the same time. I knew it. You'll be paired with someone from your team, and you will be judged together. Tattooing with somebody at the same time is like tattooing in a car going down a bumpy road. This is going to suck. So the way I paired my team, I wanted to take people that I knew would be able to complement each other. But you wanna go too far down, because then it's not a shoulder thing, you know what I mean? I'm putting my tops together, my mediums together, and my bottoms together. That way, if there's a fight, it's a fair one. Are we going uh, black and gray? Or... I want color, yellow flowers on the armor, like a shoulder cap, almost. I just don't know how the flower's gonna transform. I've been to Hungary. And the folk people, they do hand stamped hand leather. Hand dyed leather. Dave is a jackass. I'm thinking like a very simple like daisy. I can guarantee you that Dave's side is not gonna look like my side. It's up to you to design yours how you want it. And it's to me to design mine how I want it. If I was tattooing this canvas by myself, it would come out a hell of a lot better than tattooing with Dave. We have to figure something out to get her like closer to where I'm at. Anything you can do to stabilize yourself more? Nah, cause I'm having to reach like too far over. <sighs> Dave is grabbing this canvas and moving her all over the place. And I'm having to adapt to it. Can you bend it this way? Yeah. It's almost impossible for me to tattoo right now. Let him chill for a minute. Yep. I'm almost done with all the black shading. Put some color over it and call it a night. Battleship Gray will work. That's what I've used for it before. I kind of wanted it a little bit of the steel blue. 
The one issue we're running into right now is our canvas isn't willing to change the color concept of the metal. I've done metal textures, I've done armor. Never have I had to use blue steel to get my point across. It's a bad idea, man. Awesome. Love it. John Collins and Servan take an interesting approach of doing blue tribal instead of armor. Points for creativity. Thanks, guys. Today, you had to show texture by tattooing shoulder armor in pairs within your team. And this is a double elimination. Dave and Nate. Guys, this is really, really rough. You know, put together a design that I think had the ability to really shine. Once you got into tattoo time, I don't know what happened, man. This application on either one of these tattoos will not float. Dave, yours looks the roughest. The centerpiece that you have in there, it looks haphazard. I know you're going for a dugout look, but it looks messy. I was going for a rough. But why would you go for rough in a place where you gotta be so clean? I heard texture and I automatically went like, it's gotta feel gritty. Wow. You hit gritty. And whatever is going on with this big, weird, not symmetrical flower up top, this thing is nothing short of jacked up. Nate, you're shading. It's not helping this design at all. It looks like you were in the back of a 4x4. Four four, like oh, this. it felt that way. Overall, both your tattoos are messy. A little bit too much push and pull here went on, and it really hurt y'all. Nate and Dave, the judges have determined that you guys have the worst tattoos of the day. I get it, but I don't think it shows the level that I can tattoo on. John Collins and Servant. Honestly, guys, to me, it doesn't really have an armor feel. These colors that you chose are nowhere near the same palette. I think we poured out the exact same color no. palette, but I just... No debate. These are not the same colors. These things don't look remotely the same. Since these things are mirror images of each other, I think that kills you as a team. All right, John, the outside outline that you have all the way around, there's a lot of inconsistencies, which really gives it the more stone feel than the metal. The metal is gonna be edgy, sharp. This is definitely a rough tattoo. Sivan, John's is messy, but yours seems even messier. Whatever you got going on with this background color, that is not the way to do it. Tell me that's solid in any way, shape, or form. I up, man. You made a mess. Look at the difference in the shapes. Look at all the discrepancies everywhere. Bad choices, man. Bad choices. John and Servan, the judges have determined that you have the worst tattoos of the day on Team Nunez. In this face-off, tattooing head-to-head -head against each other. And the artist that loses that battle will be eliminated. The teams are set. It's up to you as a team to decide which artist tattoos which body part. But once the tattoo begins, you can't switch the area you're tattooing. Damn. And this week, there will be no human canvas jury. You'll have six hours to transform your canvas into an animal. Good luck. How are you? I'm bad. Nice to meet you. Today, the most difficult part about this challenge is consistency. Our goal is that you leave here with something that looks awesome. It's important that all of these outlines and stencils match up and play well together so that this canvas transforms into one particular pattern throughout. The challenge is to transform her. If these two touched, two pieces together and two pieces together would be better than not. I'm excited about Chris being on the team because he's a Marine and I'm a soldier. We'll work together and let's get a stencil that works for everybody yeah, yeah. so that we can all do the same designs. I don't have my master here with me, so why not let a strong person take the lead? We'll coordinate how we're going to do it. We'll put out the same bottles of ink for everybody. Exactly. I'll show you guys how to do the background tones. We'll start with the brown spots and then I'll work our way through. I feel good about that. Everybody yeah. feel good about that? Yeah. yeah. For me in this competition, it's go big or go home. I'm swinging for the fences and hitting a home run every time. So our idea is to cover as much canvas skin as possible so that it looks like her body's transforming into the cheetah. See the way I'm keeping that same line up? I'm just trying to be as randomly natural as possible. The idea is just to kind of follow my lead, watch how I do each part of the texture, and they're just gonna duplicate what I do. Look them at the top end more than the bottom end. Yeah, exactly, I can see that. Perfect. I think we're all doing about the exact same pattern. That's great. Dave? Yeah, oh, sorry. When you do that, say movie. It's nerve-wracking working with three other people at once. I mean, it's a tight little space. Your elbow is actually going to be where my elbow is. Start voting you worst team player, Dave. Sorry if I keep tensing up a little bit. 
We're barely even started, and she is starting to complain. Now, holy. Hang in there, give me like five minutes, and I'm gonna move to a different spot. Relax. No, no I can't do that spot. Three more minutes. You have to. Mentally, you gotta get there. She's starting to get fidgety. Relax, relax. Very intense. You gotta just relax. You will make it. It's not a good sign. Hello? I know it hurts. Listen, she's just try and relax. Right? We are so doomed. We still got a lot of work to do. Look up. If she taps out, she could be the ticket home for anybody on this team. No rush to go anywhere. Look at me, look up. You're okay, all right? For her safety, for the safety of everybody here, she can't continue. You tapped her. We all saw that coming. We were so close. It's the last bit of detail that makes the texture. We are royally screwed. I believe it. I'm definitely feeling for Chris right now. He's my teammate. He's who I want to go to the end of this competition with. At this point, I'm going down and discussing our case. Watch the snakehead be the only one that can sit for the tattoo. Oh, my god. Team Cheetah didn't finish her tattoo. Chris walked them into a battle that does not seem like there was any possible way for them to complete this tattoo. Good job getting her through four hours. Chris needs to take some sensitivity training for putting that girl through all that torture. For this elimination tattoo, you had to show texture in teams of four tattooing the same canvas at the same time. Remember, you're being judged as a team. Let's see how you did. Chris, Dave, Big C's, and Katie. Your team's I say that I'm very upset with their critique. I think they got thrown a gold medal for a silver performance. By luck of the draw, they got the easy one. You know, anybody can create a good texture when you have pre-designed bubbles and you just simply color them dark to light fade out with a white highlight on top. Someone would argue that you got the luck of the draw in terms of this cheetah being the easiest identifiable pattern. Yeah, but it wasn't the easiest texture-wise because the only texture in it would be the fur. So we wanted to do it at a size where you could see the texture. We made a team decision to try to group the pieces together to cover a little more area for the part of the challenge that meant transforming the body. The canvas sat pretty well for a little while, and it eventually ended in her having a panic attack. It's enormous. I don't think any of us would have felt good getting that. Was there a team leader in this? I feel like I kind of stepped up as the leader. I know that you have the ability to really get a lot of coverage really quick. The idea that your other three team partners would be able to do the same might have been ambitious, to say the least. If you accept that ability as team leader, you have to set them up for success, not failure. The finished product is what it is. This is what we're judging. Chris, I think you definitely displayed an amazing technique of really capturing that fur and showing us that you understand what it takes to build texture in a tattoo. Chris and Dave, you guys worked together on a piece that blended together. C's and Katie, yours did not really come off seamless. Katie has emotion, and C's, yours did not. Your spots have a different look. The background yellow, there's a lot of weird patchy areas. As far as judging texture, for me, this one falls a little bit flat. Instead of trying to get all the yellow that I can, I should have just stood down at the bottom and tried to get all my textures and just took my time with that. You know, as an unfinished tattoo, it's tough to say. Shoulda, coulda, woulda. Each of your team's tattoos were lacking in texture. Now, it's up to you to decide which artist on your team was the weakest. Chris, Dave. Big C's and Katie, which artist are you putting up for elimination? As a Marine and master artist, I'd like to represent myself on behalf of this team with honor. Big C's. I didn't meet the challenge. I wasn't able to show texture. I vote for myself. Wow. Katie. Send me down. I respect him, and for strategic reasons, if he went down against St. Mark, he could take him out. That's what he wants. I'm supporting what he wants. I'm gonna vote Chris. Dave. Don't make me say it. Send me down. I'll take it. Don't do it. Chris. Well, it looks like we have our call. I feel like this shaped up to be one of the most significant early battles we've seen in the history of this competition. I'm pretty sure I could take St. Mark out. Chris, St. Mark. Your teammates have put you up for elimination. The two of you must face off, tattooing head to head to determine who will continue in the competition and who will be packing their machines.
you will have six hours to work as a team and give your canvas a monumental battle scene. Head to your stations and we'll send in your canvases. Good luck. Let's, Let's do, do it. this, guys. I think it's gonna come down to design more yeah. than like a uh, space scene. The no. aliens fighting. No, no space. No. We have to make sure it's doable. Look, I was also thinking like end of the world battle royale where like there's no. meteors coming in. It's too much. Well, do you want to win or you want to just do something easy? The longer we talk about it, the more we seem to argue. I work on the aliens. Yeah, as soon as you get like a cool sketch, I'll start lining so you can start sketching another part. That one's a good one. Yeah, that's dope. Super like simple. That. Cool. The main protagonist in this would be Dragon and Dude defending himself. If I'm lining this, I don't want anything to be open for interpretation. We need a finished line drawing. Kurt is the best artist out of all of us. I just think it's a little too loose. I'm just kind of storyboarding. Okay. This is not the final drawing at all. If the lines are there, I'm going to tattoo them the way they are. That's it. If you do not know how to draw or pick up a loose sketch, then you're just a tattooer, and you are not a tattoo artist. It's not like a refined line drawing. You can draw yourself whenever you want. Please do. If Kyle doesn't get his together, then we're all doomed, because his stress is toxic. I think we're making this way more difficult than it needs to be. Christian's team, they're going small and black and gray. Like, how adaptable is that? I like it. Beautiful. Come on, we got to get this stencil going. God damn it. Go. Okay. I think our battle scene's gonna work to our advantage. The fact that it's full color and so big, so powerful. Well, I'm gonna start if you are. We've got a dragon coming in, blowing fire onto a knight. We've got knights on a horse that are charging. This thing is crazy. Who's next? Tony and Jimmy. They're not even gonna be done with lining. Whatever they don't finish, you guys have to. That looks nice though, you guys. You guys getting that rhythm down? It's a trick, right? It is. My team is such a diverse array of artists. It's my job to make sure everybody's reeled in, stays cohesive, and works together. If they can get the whole thing lined in this, then we button this mother up, then we can commit to adding more. Keep it simple, finish the piece, and you're safe. I think that's a better way to do it. Because they're committed to that now. And if somebody can't keep up or can't saturate, Four hours remaining. Four more hours. Tim and Jess are slow as this I know. Want them to do the black. Jess and Tim, they're both super slow tattooers. This is no joke. The entire team is up for elimination if we fail right now. Jess, when you get that, when you get that pulled in, we're gonna put you on some silhouette work because I want all this stuff to be super smooth and TJ's gonna move faster. Okay. I'll tell you what, it sucks, boys. They're telling me, man. Four hours remaining. Time to switch artists. There you go. I'll come in off of what Austin puts down, and I'll pull a cast shadow away from it. Okay, lay pulling. it down, man. Too much talking. You guys keep acting like uh, they were on a Sunday joyride. How'd you wipe hard? And it was so rough. Sorry. I'm rushing, that's my thing. Don't rush, just do it good. Just keep it all consistent. Yeah, don't even Break worry it. about shading up there. Leave that one alone, because we don't want to lose that <laughs> Of course, I'm worried about Stacy and Austin, man. I mean, they just don't have the same skill level as the rest of us do. Shade that way. Wrong way. What are you talking about? I know that my stuff's going to be solid, but do we know that Austin's is going to be solid? No. Three hours remaining, guys. Switch it up. Let's move, guys. Let's move. Let's move. Let's move. Come on, Turk. Let's go, Turk. Let's go. Queen, grab one of my liners clips and put the hook backwards. Yep, I see it. What? Your hook was backwards. How? I have had to go back in there and clean that up. That's not a joke. Well, then he put it on wrong. Turk, you're moving his whole thigh back and forth. Turk is huge, and he is whip shading the crap out of this skull. Can I just sit this one out? Is there a bench? Can I just be the water girl? I'm trying. This hard. I want to hear the guys. Keep working. Jesus. And switch. All right. All right. Can I start putting color in now? Yeah, go for it, dude. You ready? You ready? Here we go. Clock's ticking, man. 
one hour remaining. Switch artists for the last time. Home stretch, man. Tony, right in here. Very right, well? right by the sword, yeah. Right here? Yeah. Holy cow. Oh, god damn it. This is so nerve-wracking. Five, four, three, two, one. That's it. Machine's down. Time is up. No more ink. Yes! Boom. Boom, you guys. Good job. God damn. Good job. This looks like one artist did yes. it. That I think is hard, especially in black and gray. That was absolutely insane. I'm pumped. Today, you had to prove your adaptability and work as a team to tattoo a battle scene. Team Clean, you're up. I really love just the fantasy idea of this dragon. Just coming up with a design that we all agreed on, I mean, that's a feat in itself. We have so many different opinions and so many different styles. We got guys that are totally not into this style at all, and they adapted the hell out of it to make it work. You know the Turk did the skull at the bottom. You can tell and see it. The negative smoke coming out of the eye has a very soft, wispy S. The smoke to the right of it coming off of the broken bone is choppy and kind of all over. But then you get to the little guy above him, is the next closest thing to see detail. And that guy looks completely out of focus. There's not just a cloak effect. And the pants look like the wall minus the lines of the brick. Everything about that guy isn't keeping up with the guy in the front. So therefore, design looks disjointed. Now you have this dragon. The dragon is massive. It's shaded nice, it's strong. Everything's colored. Then you have this little tiny brick house behind it. The dragon is so big, and it's just disappeared behind that tiny little brick house. There's no play back into itself, no kind of ties, no two images tie into each other. It looks like standalone tattoos. For as creative of a team as you guys are, artistically as a unit, I don't think you guys fired well at all. As soon as we found out we're doing a collaborative tattoo, I genuinely thought that we had a greater bridge to gap. I think that four members of Team Christian could all do the same tattoo, and you'd be hard-pressed to know who did which one. And I think we all tattoo so vastly different. You don't have four color traditional guys that could all match up pieces? Did any of them do any traditional tattooing up there? I was just trying to say that that's how I felt going into it. I, I didn't need the two cents from Christian. I'm just telling well, you, you how. Well, you, you got it. Don't separate the teams by I'm saying I'm not separating that, anybody's know, team. Called terminal uniqueness in therapy. I came here as one mother to tattoo. I know it's teams, but I like to do things my way. Being able to break out of that is what we're looking for, which is adaptability. I'll say that both teams swung for the fences, and it's got to be a hard challenge. All right, guys, thank you. All right, guys, it is now time to determine who had the best tattoo of the day. Technically, I think there's a lot of great work in Team Cleans, but overall hitting this challenge, the scene, the consistency, the adaptability looks really strong in Team Christian. There's no debate for me. I'm going with Team Christian. Good job, guys. Good job, guys. The judges have decided the best tattoo of the day goes to Team Christian. You are all safe from elimination. Another day. That means, Team Clean, one of you is going home. Clean, your team lost the battle today, but you haven't lost the war. To take down your opponent in the final grudge match, you must eliminate the weak to keep the strongest team behind. And as a coach, you know better than anyone who on your team is the weakest. Today, the power is in your hands. Oh. You alone must decide which two artists from your team are the weakest and put them up for elimination. You will have six hours to create a neo-traditional tattoo. Based on your work, one of you will be closing shop. Good luck. You ready? I'm ready. All right. You got a lot of tolerance for pain. I would've been crying right now. Because mine's not like, nearly as full as yours, I'm gonna do a red background. I was gonna do orange back. Okay, so they're here. It's very relieving working with Jim, just because he's such a veteran. 
My biggest concern is all the rules that apply to traditional. I guarantee you I'm not going to hit any of them. How'd that go? <laughs> Good. Everyone else is tattooing while I'm over here playing with this guy. I'm like a little concerned. Like, we're, it's like half an hour. We haven't even started. Are we going to be all right? Don't worry about it, man. Dude, chill out, man. Put your head in that pillow. Buck's pissed. I'm pissed. This kid is breaking my balls. You need to handle some of these canvases with baby gloves. You don't tell a customer to shut up. You just lost the battle right there, dude. I'm so good. Having to work in each other's workspace. It is a huge pain in the ass. I put my liner in, Lydia pulls the skin, and pulls all the skin away from me. Oh, it's exactly what I just went through a second ago. We're going to have to figure something out here. What the f are you doing? Get out of my way. Four hours remaining. <sighs> I'm going to pass out, bro. Don't, don't, don't say that. No, I'm, I'm, I'm like not even joking, though. Yeah, I'm seeing the colors. Medic. Medic. This is really bad. Oh, uh, mm -hmm. Feeling dizzy or anything like that? Yeah. I've accomplished nothing with this tattoo. My outline's not even finished. So sit first before you stand, OK? Because this kid can't handle the pain, I can't do my damn job. Keith and King Rock are tattooing way too rough. My guess is they were just shredding the out of his legs. That's what's causing this guy to tap out. Yeah, 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 you know, he's doing great. If that's the case, one or both of these guys are going home today. Two hours remain, everyone. All right, buddy. Come on back up. All right. Let's try this again. Hey, man, you all right? Buddy, buddy, you all right, dude? You're trying to shake a lot here, bro. The shakes that I'm having right now are super uncontrollable, you know what I mean? Time is not on my side, and this situation is only getting worse. Like, I'm trying to control it? You might be sending me home. You a sucker, man. I'm going to use the bathroom. You show me the bathrooms? OK, come on, man. You OK? You all right? Whoa, 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 whoa. Come here. Passed out. Can you get James here, please, immediately? Damn it. Look straight at me. Go ahead, come here. Stop talking and just look straight at me. This is the worst possible scenario. This kid's tapping out, I'm finished. Yo, Rock, humble would have went. Psh. He just passed out yeah. out there. Just tell me if you want to fall over. Say it loud, okay? He's not gonna come back at all. He's done, done. Nah, he's done. about tattooing yourself. One hour to go, everyone. One hour remaining. I'm not going home off of a chump tapping out. I don't get down like that. What the f man? I guess Rub got to tattoo himself. You know what? I'm not scared to tattoo myself. Let's get it cracking. I'm going to tattoo a traditional style rose. I just need to show the judges I can saturate some black and I can show contrast. Real right now. The fact that Ruck is willing to tattoo himself shows that he still wants to compete. Keith doesn't want to compete. Keith wants to cry. He's a bitch. Pack his bags and let him go home. Once again, I find myself in the middle of the road, and I feel like I should just build a house here. It's not where I want to be. I'm trying to get some complimenting colors in there, but they like to beat me up about that so. Halo's been in the top, and I hope working with him will help bring me there. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. That's it, machine's down. No more ink. I just do a rub. OK. Tattoo the rose. That's it? Yeah. I know that I could still be going home, but I also know that I did everything that I could do to stay in this competition. I'm here to compete. Good for you, man. Good for you. Today, you had to use contrast to make a neo-traditional lady or gentleman that pops. Jim and Bubba.
You did the grandmother, right. you did the grandfather. So this gentleman is actually not Asian, as it turns out. Oh, he's not? No, he's not. Bubba, when you did this drawing, did you not notice the differences in the shapes of the eyes? No. How? They're offset, one's larger than the other. It's time to get back to the drawing board, literally. Jim, the first thing that hits me right away is the eyebrows. The one eyebrow's really big and black, and the other one's very small. There's a lot of black in that neck, and then there's not really any solid black in the face at all. Lydia and Gentle J. Did you guys work up to a center line? The flower we split right down the middle. I can almost see that line. Let's move on to J. The black delight to use in that jacket to make those subtle creases, that's a very good use of contrast. Very subtle, very realistic. That is a nice tattoo. Lydia. Putting the shading in the tiny tattoos was a mistake. It really muddied up the way they look. There really isn't a lot of contrast in the tattoo as far as dark shading and color goes. And what is going on with that purple behind the flower? He wanted purple. I don't give a You guys work your ass off to lay out some of the cooler layouts of the day, and then you do this bubblegum bullet in the middle. That's terrible. Kyle and Halo. This is a contrast challenge, and you used a very muted color palette. Your client has olive skin. Purples and blues and olive skin are no-nos. You can't pick your color palette off your page. You got to pick it off your client. Let's start with Kyle. This tattoo is very strange. You gave her this enormous forehead and this really long neck just has this whole top of your design floating. She looks like she's wearing a hair piece with an animal on it. Let's move on to Halo's tattoo. If you had heavy black around those eyes, it really would have made that face pop. When you just do gray to light green to skin, you don't have the contrast that you easily could have had. King Ruck and Keith. Tell me what happened. It was a bad canvas from the beginning. But you turned in outlines. Yes. And King Ruck, you've also tattooed yourself. I still wanted to show you guys that I still want to compete. Well, we appreciate that. So let's start with you, King. You have a lot of really rough outlines here. As we start hitting him with the lines, he would freak out, he would jump, he would move around. If that leg's moving, push on him, man. Hold it down. You have this huge oval line that's going around the side that really shows a lot of imperfections. All right, King, let's take a look at the tattoo you did on yourself. It's a very small, very simple tattoo, but you do show contrast. And really, it's probably the cleanest tattoo you've done since you've been here. Thank you. Let's move on to Keith. This is a tough call. You gave us very little to look at. The most that I have to judge on is what area you colored solid black. This area is very rough, and it's just not there. Yeah, it's not there, because I wasn't able to really go into it and do I mean, it's, it's easier for you to say up here, like, yeah, you know, you're little. It's not dude, easy it's, for it's, us to do anything. Yeah, dude, yeah, but you know what it is, though, man? It's like, I'm not halfway done the goddamn thing, so, like, how can you judge something that you can't see? You're not seeing anything. It's up. Listen, man, you're crazy on edge. You're just stewing and mad, and you're not confident in you. If you can't be confident in you, then how can we? Today, you had to tattoo one of the most popular styles of tattooing, neo-traditional. Keith, you're here because Sausage put you up for elimination. Sausage, why Keith? It's nothing against you, but ultimately, there's people here that are hungry to stay here. Ruck tattooed himself. I definitely have what it takes to be here, and every time you guys judge me, I'm judging myself, I'm punching myself in the throat. Keith, you're also here because the human canvases determined that you had the worst tattoo of the day. It's up, man. It's been one thing after the other. It's been like, like a domino effect. And like the dominoes has been following over and over and over again. And it's just so hard for me to focus. King, you're here because the judges felt that you had one of the worst tattoos of the day. You have a lot of really rough outlines here. I don't want to make excuses, but I still wanted to compete. I still wanted to show the centers of the challenge. Bubba? The judges also felt that you had one of the worst tattoos of the day. These drawings are from the start, not good. I don't know what I was thinking doing this thing. You never come out swinging, and you're having a really rough time. Keith, King, and Bubba, any one of you could justifiably be eliminated. 
The judges have decided. Keith, you do not have what it takes to be Ink Master. Please pack your machines and close shop. You will have six hours to tattoo four horsemen of the apocalypse. Good luck. April. Nice to meet you, nice Bobby. Meet you. you don't want a tattoo? Uh, I'm definitely letting him tattoo yeah. this. Is it Aaron or is it clean? Too? I'm so dead. <laughs> Why don't laugh, <laughs> asshole? <laughs> I feel like it is a more masculine subject matter. Do you feel comfortable with it? Yeah. Eva, are you tattooing? Yulis is going to do us. Are you doing the tattooing, Tommy? Yeah, I'm going to do the tattoo. I love tattooing this, like getting to illustrate but It is a smart play to let Erin tattoo. She's more experienced and can do things faster. We have to make sure our stuff looks cohesive. We can't fail on that, because then we just fail the challenge. Some people should take the reins on drawing certain things. So like there's that. a little bit of everybody, and it's consistent. I can draw Stop. all the horses. And then I can draw all the clothes and reapers. Black and gray are colored. What if we did like a mixture of black and gray with colored backgrounds? Or even just flames. Black and gray, you know? I think just straight color or straight black and gray. And I would rather do color what than What if black we did the foreground color background black and gray? I just think color would be nicer. Nicer or are you as capable of doing it? Basilica, Golden Skull, and Old Town have huge egos. I think we can all like just separate and start looking for our own references and start sketching things out. It seems to just be complete, absolute anarchy. These artists need to show adaptability by, for them, tattooing one canvas at the same time. I think we're good. It's a little bit far apart. They have to be in constant communication. Do that in black. You want to do it black? I, I, want, I want everyone's opinion on that. You're trying to pull a line, and your partner's pulling a line, and you guys are pulling opposite. Anything could go wrong. You see how he likes it two at a time. You almost ready, kid? Yep. We start uh, getting him up. Eula says it's not so ready. I'm super happy to be on the team with these guys because they are awesome artists. So what are you saying, like this? Perfect. Because all the pieces are supposed to look like the same artist did them, I imagine their egos on that other team is going to get in the way. Fade this down, heavy black. Well, Cut. they just told me not to put any black in it. No, you're going to have a black cloak. I definitely don't feel like I'm part of a team today. It's a Grim Reaper, man. Yeah, but it's not, though. Because if it was, I would just be coloring in black. Yeah, I mean, it pretty much is, ain't it? Six people coming over to me every couple minutes and making sure that I'm tattooing the way they want me to, it's just chaos. So you're just going to shade the horse underneath the cloak? like yeah. it's Like it's a ghost. You guys are all saying different things. I'm getting really confused. We're saying the same thing. Three hours, guys. What color is a cloak? Like a shadow from the cloak. OK, so you're going to do what? Baby blues or grays? Well, I got a black horse, but my whole outfit and, it, and the dude is like a greenish gray. DJ's color palette is just so bland. Noah's horse seems like it's got broken legs. And then April's so cute and little, she's trying to do a cute little pony tattoo. I'm definitely going to go at my own pace and let these guys screw themselves. Just so how's he looking? You know what? Aaron does this cool thing. I like just color that all in like the mid-tone. Just right off that rain right there. Mm -hmm, gotcha. Yeah, yeah. That's good. Are you giving away all my tricks? <laughs> right now, the only issue that this team is having is Aaron can tattoo better than everyone else in this room combined. Glad to see you guys are carrying Aaron through this. <laughs> <laughs> One day I'll learn what I'm doing. Yeah. Just try and keep up, girl. Just try and keep up. Part of adaptability is that the strongest player is going to have to reel it in a little bit so that their pieces can match. Aaron has taken so much of a lead on this that the other competitors on that team aren't going to be able to keep up. Final hour, kids. One more hour. I like these two together. Yeah, I do too. They play well off each other. I feel pretty confident in our team. Each one looks a little bit different, but I think that's character. The four horsemen of the apocalypse aren't quadruplets. They should all look different. These things are metal as Five, four, three, two, one. That's it. Machine's down. Time is up. No more ink. Oh my god, you made it. Dude. That was awesome. Yeah. It literally looks like the same tattooer did all of these tattoos. I really never thought I'd have tattoos like this. Cool. I don't know if the other team thinks that outshining other people on their team is the way to win, but it's definitely not. They may have made good tattoos, but they didn't meet the challenge. 
I'm in all guys. Like, I, I, I don't even know what to say. So high five for the team? Oh, yeah. 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 Thank you. We won, hands down. Today, you had to prove your adaptability by tattooing with other shops. The four shops tattooing on one canvas will be judged as a team. Empire State Studio, Allegory Arts, Black Cobra Tattoos, and Unkindness Art, let's start with you. What was the plan of attack in terms of making these things all look like they were done by one artist? Everybody picked their strong suit and helped each other while we were drawing them. And we had the same color palettes laid out. You all had an artistic hand in each other's in designs? In each other's design. Very cool. Let's start with Tommy. The drawing of the horse is a lot more complex and a lot more detailed than the drawing of the guy. Definitely has this little poseable action figure type feel to him. That little leg coming over the saddle is really tiny. It just doesn't look powerful enough to keep that big, heavy body on there. So the man himself is a miss. Ulyss, with your tattoo, what it's saying is cool, and I think it fits in well with the other three. But the death character could have been darker, a little bit fiercer, and I think punching more black in this thing to give it some contrast would have made this really stand out. It's a simple take on the horse, but I like the rod and look you went with. I just wish it was a little more dynamic. Matt. This is a very strong, very color-saturated, very contrasting image. I think it looks very definitive. The choice of doing the sword just so straight up, compositionally, throws it off. Aaron. This is an amazing horse. You put all this cool musculature, all the ribs and rips, gives this so much definition and character. All the strength of the horse shows. Everybody else fell short on their riders, but your rider exceeds the dynamics of the horse. Great detail. Great color choices, great contrast. When it comes down to it, Erin killed it, and y'all were trying to catch up with what she was doing. To the whole team, you have a cohesive look from all four tattoos, and they do show a lot of consistency. All your size references and all your characters are the same, and you made choices to end the tattoo similarly. But the ending of the tattoo, not a fan of this bubble cloud thing that you guys did on everything. If you're doing something that has so much fight or anger to it, to put something so happy and cheery looks off. Basilica Tattoo, Golden Skull Tattoo. Old Town Inc. and Artistic Skin Design, you're up next. In terms of adaptability, what was the plan here? We wanted each of us to put like our own artistic flair in it while still looking all cohesive and make sure they all so they look like they're same. So they stood out individually. Yeah, we wanted them to all look a little different in their own way. Let's start up with Nolan. Your horse and your guy play off of each other in the color. The way you shaded the horse, it's very simple, but it has a strong look to it. I like the way that you can see the horse drop into the background of the gray. This background, to me, just looks messy. There's some gray, there's some black, there's some smooth, there's some rough, there's some choppy, there's some negative, and I think your horse dynamics and your musculature actually look a little weird. Front leg looks broken, and parts of the horse look like he's melting. Clean. This tattoo obviously is super technically done, saturated perfectly. The red in this tattoo looks like a painting. And one thing I will say for you guys, this kind of background, what I like is that through the negative, the horse keeps playing. It's not just stripe, cut, goodbye. Of the four, it's probably my favorite one. DJ. You show your own artistic style in here. You're showing your own technical abilities in here. Very smooth, very clean, but also very different from everybody else on your team. And what bothers me most about this horse is the face just has this weird, wet weasel look to me, as opposed to this strong horse. It's like a whole different tattoo. Well, for me, it's done really well. The details in the hair of both the character and the horse are very nice. All the outlining really works. I like that it's bold and soft at the same time. Overall, the quality of the tattooing on the team to this point is all pretty on par with itself. April. Your rider looks super tough. And then the skull in there, you shade it nicely. It's soft, it's not overdone, but it's a little bit weird. The whole head of the horse is just fleshless, and then it instantly just turns into a regular horse. Also, the way this tattoo ends is one of the messier ones. Down at the bottom, it just gets pretty hard to see what's going on. All of your horses look different. It doesn't look like y'all had a real exact plan of how your backgrounds are gonna work together, and everybody took their own approach on it. We didn't want them to... Yeah, like, we wanted our Yeah, we weren't going yeah, like that. Understood, but we if weren't. these are supposed to go together and look like one artist the did them... Yeah, I think they all go together. If you had four areas of your back tattooed that look like the same artist did it, that's gonna... 
Weird to us. That's the challenge, though. That's the way every tattoo we've done the whole time we've been here. Well, we could have just made one stencil and just yeah. uh, slapped it on all yeah. of them. Why would it be this time when it's adaptability just to throw that away and do whatever you wanted? As far as matching up to everybody else's clouds, you just didn't really do it. The idea is for four artists to adapt to one thing and do something cohesive. And I feel like that's where y'all slipped away. Today, you fought for your shop's honor by tattooing the four horsemen of the apocalypse. It's been a very heated debate amongst the judges, and we are not in agreement. Nolan, clean, DJ and April, if you would have paid attention to making these tattoos adaptable to each other. And that's what we did. It is not what you did. The style is totally different. It's not. They don't look like they're drawn the same. They don't look like they're tattooed the same. It looks like four people took their own approach and did their own thing. Exactly. All right, so just do some boring like everybody else, and then we'll win. The challenge is the challenge. So it comes down to me. I look at Tommy, Eulis, Matt, and Aaron's in terms of contrast and readability. I can see exactly what's going on in every one of these tattoos. And my vote is for Tommy, Eulis, Matt, and Aaron. <sighs> yes. yes. <clears throat> The judges have decided, Tommy, Ulysses, Matt, and Aaron, you have the best tattoos of the day. Awesome. Good job. Good job. Good job Your shops are safe from elimination. That means Basilica Tattoo, Golden Skull Tattoo, Old Town Ink, and Artistic Skin Design, one of your shops will be eliminated. Oh my god. The only one here who's really lying is you. If you're going to come at me with an attitude, then go kick rocks. Oh, yeah. I'm super grateful to have a chance to come back. I wonder who else is here. Brandis, welcome back. Your artist was Mystical Mike. Yes. Mystical Mike? I could be on the top with my superior knowledge in biology. Would you be interested in doing a G clef with the muscular tissue exposed in the negative space? That's actually really, really cool. I was pissed. The healing process was some of the worst pain that I've ever felt. Oh, wow. He used a liner needle instead of actually using a shading needle for well, pretty he, much the whole tattoo. He only had one. It looks like somebody stole your liner. I only had one machine to work with. That's insane. Once it finally seemed like it was fully healed, it was blotchy, color was gone. Oh, it really? It was just garbage. Oh, man. <laughs> That's never a good If you ever came across Mystical Mike again, would you confront him? If I wouldn't get in trouble for it, I probably would punch him in the face. Yeah, my work cut out for me. We don't want our canvases unhappy. So we have an artist standing by in the shop that's willing to work with you. Idea is all yours. She doesn't know if Mike's here? You get to look at the design, and if you don't like it, you can walk. I'd love a second chance. We'll head into the shop and meet him. How far can I push the limits? Who will get me to my limit? I'm feeling very nervous right now. But I'm glad that Ink Master is actually giving me another tattoo after having to deal with Mystical Mike. Oh, no way. Hola. How's it going? Duh. Do you know how bad I want to punch you in the face right now? Mm. What'd you get? Get yourself an add-on over there? Obviously, Got you're it. the one that commented on my Instagram post saying that it was terrible. It's apocryphal that you should let your body be adorned by someone else without consulting me first. It's disrespectful. It's I disrespectful? Understand your body completely. I understand it's yeah, your body exactly. completely. Yeah, exactly. It's my body, which means I can do whatever the hell I want with it. That's totally true. You destroyed my arm. It was blotchy, it was scarred, it didn't even heal after a month. Are you freaking kidding you me? You should be more patient when it comes to the creation process of art. Patient? Absolutely. I had to get everything worked over. That's hurtful to me. Like, where's the honesty that we had for you to be like, hey, I'd like to do some extra Do you think we could do some I more stuff? I asked you, and you ignored me. I didn't I get the message. I messaged you multiple times. I didn't times. get the message. You I, messaged I wish me I did. back. Guys, Dave, <sighs> this doesn't seem to be going so great. It's okay, it's okay, it's okay. I know this is hard for you. Okay, listen, I do have another solution. There's another artist here who's willing to work with Mike, tag team style, to make sure that you get the tattoo that you want. And you can still say no. I can't do it with him alone. He'd have to be crazy to think I'd even let him touch me again. All right, buddy, come on in. 
Oh, this guy. Jimmy Litwak, guys. Unbelievable. <sighs> Unbelievable. Much better. Much, Much better? better. <laughs> uh. So Jimmy has agreed to work with Mike together to give you the tattoo that you want. I promise you I will do everything in my power to make sure you walk out of here extremely happy. I trust you, just not you yet. But... It's cool. I respect that. I don't need any help. I'm obviously one of the best artists in the world. Are we all good? I think we're good. All right, I'm going to leave you guys to it. Tag teaming a tattoo with Mike isn't the worst thing I could ever think of, but it definitely ranks right up there. I want something to commemorate my wedding. The theme of it was lovebirds, and my favorite flower is a stargazer lily. Kind of thinking of something like, you know, base the flowers mm -hmm. on the bottom, then maybe the birds behind it. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of Jimmy in there, but I like to get a little bit of me in there. Like something like this, I wouldn't feel too comfortable doing. The detail may not be appreciated visually in the totality of the piece. You're talking English, man, but <laughs> I don't understand what you're uh, saying. Like, if you're coming into it with doubt, that's not going to give her any confidence. Yeah, I, I feel a lot of doubt from her, and too, it's hard to build myself you, up. You, from you should feel doubt from her. <laughs> this is your redemption. It's all I'm trying to do is make up for my past mistakes right now. Please, just give me that chance. I'm, I'm trying I, to. I, I apologize for not having a better vocabulary or a system of tools to better communicate with you right now. <laughs> I've been waiting a long time for this moment. It gives me a chance to prove myself from all the inconsistencies and irrational behavior that I had, and just maybe there's a chance for me to redeem myself. What's going on, gentlemen? All right, let's take a look at this design. Mike, do you want to present this to Brandis? OK, yes, I do. They're uh, the two uh, lovebirds to represent your marriage. And that floating bow on top? That would be the tying of the knot. Wow, it's definitely more than what I was expecting. Kind of a backhanded compliment. Didn't expect anything <laughs> that great, but then again, she likes it. Jimmy, you have something you'd like I to present? I do. Would you care to see what Jimmy came up with? Yeah. Oh, wow. Two similar takes on the same idea. Yeah. Totally different schools. Do you have a favorite? My honest gut feeling is Jimmy's. You can see how that looks like a complete circle versus floating. Do you want to get this tattoo? Not if Mike does the whole thing. Well, this is a tag team design, so Mike will be tattooing you. But you also have Jimmy present and tattooing as well. Half and half. I'm willing to give Mike a chance if Mike goes first and Jimmy follows up and finishes up. I'm very grateful that you're going to give me an opportunity. All right, sweetheart. Thank you. Good luck. I'm going to make sure it is the best tattoo experience of her life. I'm going to make her eat all those negative words she said about me. Why did you line those leaves? You didn't want a lot of leaves. Is it in the color? Mm, no, it's not. Some of art's biggest mistakes could be some of life's greatest accomplishments. This girl doesn't want to hear the word mistake in her new tattoo. You feel the uh, there's a difference between me and Jimmy Styles? You were just going really slow. That doesn't mean go faster if you're not comfortable going faster. But... Oh, no, I am. I was making sure it was more and more on, on your level of comfort. So it doesn't change the fact that I'm still a selfish prick, but. I don't know. For a tattoo artist, I feel like you can't be selfish. Oh, no, we are very selfish. What? Tattoo artist back home that I've been working with is not in the least bit selfish. Well, that's why I'm on Ink Master, and he's wherever the he is. Stop for a second. Can we just stop for a second? He's stressing me out. I, I really can't have you here anymore. Mike, his biggest problem is he can't communicate. He's combative. If he's learning anything today, I'm hoping he learns how to communicate. We're creating an experiment of beautiful energy and chaos on your arm. And this it's is not beautiful energy. This is it, negative. It, I gave you a chance, and then you made a mistake because you didn't follow directions. I'm passionate, and I love what I do. And it's becoming now more insulting to me to sit here and try to convince you otherwise. You and always it's, have because something Because I have say. something valuable, and it's worth it's saying. It's not Because no one has the balls to say it. That's why I say it. People need to hear it. Walk away and just be gone. <clears throat> yep, better keep walking. Unbelievable, man. She's not letting me finish my piece, and now I have to come here and redeem myself because she has no respect for me? Oh. You really wouldn't be open for him to doing anything left on this? It's still my arm, you know. What if I left something that's not <laughs> 
everyone maybe deserves a second chance. Here's your third one. Don't f up. Just hold on one sec. I've been thinking if you would be willing to finish the tattoo and do the sky, then I would be willing to let you do it. This way, we can each have our closure. It's very, it's very generous of you. Finally, you let me come in to finish you off in the last 15 minutes. If it lets her sleep at night by letting me do the sky, I hope she does. Alrighty, we're all done. We'll take a look. Yep. All right. It's nice to not be disappointed. <laughs> <laughs> How's it going? Good. Wow. Are you happy with the outcome? Very happy. I love my tattoo. I love everything about it. Let's go, Mike. I definitely don't want to ever see you again, but Jimmy, I would love to get tattooed from you again. The most important thing is that you're, you love your tattoo. That's all I cared about coming back here for. I'm just happy that Brandis is happy and I don't ever have to see her again. I don't need redemption. I'm a great tattoo artist. Thanks, Jimmy, very much. All in all, when I look at this tattoo, I'm happy with it, but there is no way that I would work anything artistically with Mike again. Another happy customer, finally. Brandis redeemed. What do you think about that, huh? Didn't see that coming. Ink Master helped build my name, so now I have a reputation to maintain. If there's a client that didn't like something that I did, I have to make it right. Can't leave people just out of sorts. Stephanie, your artist was Sebastian. Yeah. Well, that brings us to this week's elimination tattoo, cover-ups. You got an idea what you want to get? A large beach scene, like the sand and the ocean. Is that right? That is right. <laughs> you not get a Sebastian? I have no idea what on a realistic beach could cover a solid black sun. I don't know what this thing's going to look like in 10 years. It's going to end up touched up. We're looking for longevity. I can't give you a win if your tattoo won't be around to be judged in 10 years. You're here because you're not happy. Yeah. Initially, the colors look really pretty. Yeah. So a lot of people will come and be like, wow, that's really nice. And then it's always the, what is that? And I'm like, oh, it's a beach. And they're like, what? Is that a bush? Honestly, like, it is embarrassing. What does your husband think of it? When I first came home, he's kind of like, wait, what? What is that? You don't have to see it every day. Well, he does. Not, exactly. I feel worse for him than for you. How does the tattoo look now? The tribal sun, you can still see it. Through the bush? Through the bush. So it wasn't really even a successful cover up. You know I have Sebastian here in the shop. Right. I'm giving you the opportunity okay. to talk to him, confront him, squash whatever you have with him, and possibly get this thing fixed. He's like a cocky guy, you know, so I don't know like how open he is to hearing like that I'm not happy, mm -hmm. but I definitely want to tell him. You talk to him about reworking this thing, you can get it or you can walk away. Everything is up to you. Cool with that? Yeah, definitely. All right, why don't you head into the shop? Okay, great. The thought of having to wear this tattoo forever is really just not even an option. I really would just want to kind of call him out in a sense of, you are a better artist than this, so I don't understand why the tattoo I have doesn't match what you are supposedly capable of doing. Oh my goodness. What on earth? You remember it, right? Yeah, yeah. You, I, I remember the level of difficulty. But at the same time, I kind of feel like it could have been executed better. I think you were trying uh, to play it safe. No, Would I, you want a, a mediocre tattoo? What you have isn't mediocre. I feel that you should have given me some better suggestions or even telling me like, okay, listen, photorealism's not gonna work because you need an outline. It did work. You can see the sun coming through. Let me see. In the bush. Mm. Okay. Right. Okay. Now I see being that it's done what it's done, I, I can go more in there. I'm, I'm, I can save you. Come on, man. I got to show off. So do you think that you can eliminate the bush? That's where I'm, like, torn, because I don't want to stay with something that I don't like mm -hmm. and then just keep digging that hole deeper and deeper. I am so nervous right now that he has to cover up a cover-up of a cover-up. Okay, if there was nothing there, 
what would you want? I don't know what's going to be effectively able to go. It doesn't matter what's effectively okay. able. That's my job. Okay, that's fair. So what do you want? Okay, so basically there's certain flowers that I'm cool with. Peacock, um, owls. I mean, even if it's a combination of peacocks and flowers. I just want to have a tattoo that I'm happy with, that I love. I am very nervous, though. No, you should be. Cover-ups are by far tougher than a regular tattoo. Initially, it was a cover-up challenge anyway. So I'm going to earn my redemption the way it should be earned. I'm going to do what I set out to do the first time, and I'm going to do it right this time. Sebastian, come on down here. So what did you end up doing for Stephanie with the design? A complete cover-up. A complete cover-up. Have you ever completely covered up a piece of work that you've done before that was already a cover-up? This is um, the third time. You know, no, I actually haven't done that That's before. That's crazy, right? It's the first time for you. And you nervous? How do you feel about this? I am. I'm this? still a little nervous because I don't want it to be worse than what it looks like now. I don't know if that's possible. Well, I was going to say it can only go up from here. Yeah. But I am nervous. All right, Sebastian, ready to present this design? Yes, sir. Stephanie, are you ready to check it out? I am ready. Yeah. All right, buddy. Let's take a look at this. This is the rough color. I didn't sit down and Sharpie paint everything in, but. Wow. Tell me how this is going to cover up the existing tattoo. The bush at the bottom is about yay wide. Mm -hmm. When I run this blue through there, that dark blue is going to bury that green. There's no way that green is going to be able to push through that dark blue. I'm, I'm surprised. Why are you surprised? You know he's a great artist. But a lot of your work that I've seen can be like not so peacock flowery. All right, redemption on the line for Sebastian and for yourself, frankly. Yeah. Do you want to get this today? I do want to get that. That's what I like yes, to hear. Yes, I do. I think it came out beautiful. Ready to bang this out? Oh, yeah. All right, buddy, let's do it. Uh, yes. All yeah. right, good luck, Thank Steph. you. Congratulations. Thank you, Dave. Good okay. luck. It's big, it's a lot of coverage, and I'm not convinced yet that that's going to cover up that bush. That bush is really, really dark. I could be wrong. So let's see what happens. Holy What if it's perfect? I think I got a winner. Well, don't, like, make it fit. Like, no, make I sure don't. it actually does fit. You can't make it fit if it doesn't, you know? I know. I just don't want to have to do it three times. It really is beautiful. But, like, I'm also second-guessing everything. Should I look at the stencil first before you? Nah. I uh, no. I mean, I'm going to look at it. Of course. OK. When he showed me the beach scene, at that time, I was like, woohoo! So, fingers crossed. Now I can let you look at the stencil. OK. So, OK, so wait. This here, this is just going to be the shape of the shading? Yeah. OK, perfect. Trust me. Very nice. OK. We'll be starting now. Was that horrible? I think it's definitely maybe more painful than childbirth. Now, All right. hop up, take a look. Okay. Oh, I'm like, I'm so excited. Hold on. <gasps> oh my goodness. I can't even. Oh, yay! It's oh, so oh, yay! It's so exciting. Let's talk about some cover ups. Guys, come on down. Let me take a look at this thing. <laughs> wow. You can't see it at all. You wouldn't even know that there was something under what's here. Two times. And then something under that. This is a double cover-up. Ultimately, redemption for Sebastian? Absolutely. I'm so happy and I'm proud. happy to hear that, because you do not want to cover that up. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. It's really cool that she's that excited. I mean, because that's what I strive for. I think that's redemption. I'm Stephanie, done. congratulations. Thank you. Sebastian, Thank you. well done, buddy. <laughs> Thanks a lot. Congratulations. All right, guys, take care. Oh, I'm nervous. Dan, welcome back. Glad to be back.
So your artist was Kyle. A luchador mask, is it fine that we have like the half mask? Yeah, no, I don't think that's gonna work. I have to get Day of the Dead in here somehow too. This isn't gonna win this challenge. I wanna walk out of here with something that, you know, I'm gonna wanna show off to everybody. I wanna bore you with my designs. He doesn't give a about my standing inside this competition. Unless you're sharing 100 grand, I gotta make sure this is something I want. <laughs> What happened with Kyle? We butted heads right off the start. I made a comment about how if he split his hundred grand with me, I'd let him tattoo whatever he wanted. But until then, I'm the one that had to have this thing on my skin forever. Sure. I wanted something that I wanted. And that's kind of where everything went downhill from that, that point. That way went downhill from that comment? Yeah. I don't find that to be an insulting comment. My memory of the tattoo is that it came out pretty good. Oh, it looked phenomenal when it was yeah. done. So why are you here today? He was busting my balls about the whole concept to begin with. We compromised and then when all was said and done, all that detail that he was so worried about getting into the tattoo completely washed out and turned gray. But it also sounds like you have some personal issues with Kyle. The attitude, the cockiness, the arrogance, and you know, like he just wouldn't work with me on it. Well, Dan, as you know, Kyle is here. He's in the shop right now. And what we'd like to offer you is an opportunity to go talk to Kyle, maybe square whatever issues you guys have. And if that goes good, look into getting this tattoo fixed up. It really depends on how this conversation goes. I'm curious to see how that goes, so. too. Why don't you head in the shop? All right. I think when Kyle sees me, he's either going to walk away, call me an asshole, or want to punch me in the face. Who knows? He's already proven 100 times that he's got a short fuse. Let's see if he's changed. Mr. Dunbar, you know why I'm here, right? I figure that you're just a cheap mother this is exactly what I knew was going to happen. So why the are you here? You like cameras that much? No, because I'm here to put you in your place. You want to be a dick? I'm sorry. Did you apologize for causing me a $100,000 loss? You son of a bitch. You a loss. I didn't cause you a loss. You sat here and told me that if I didn't share my $100,000 with you, what there was I no way I was going to do a tattoo. Because because when they what? judged that tattoo, they said it doesn't fit the challenge. God damn it. That was my day. Blackie raised the that I do. Me. I owe you nothing. I can't get redemption tattooing you, you I compromised with you, and you still you gave me You compromised? You hey, expected $50,000 so that you could get a tattoo to you. First of all, get the out of my face. I ain't going nowhere, right? this is my you shop. Kyle ain't got to do I'm goddamn artist. Do what the I want. Go ahead, go. Right. Get out of here, you curtain jerker. Good luck with everything in that attitude of yours. Maybe someday you'll learn to swallow that pride. Suck my all right, my day is done. I've had many a sleepless night thinking of that day when I was trying to work with him. It's not time for me to try and compromise anymore. I don't know if my son will be proud of me, but he'll still learn what his dad expects him to do in the situation that someone's trying to use him, abuse him, push him around, stand up to him, kick him in their weak ass knees, call him a curtain jerker. How are you gonna cost me $100,000, little bitch mother Camilla, good to see you again. Your artist was Julia. Yes. Today, you must tattoo an animal. We got this. It's coming out great. You don't have any areas of soft, smooth gray. You don't give it that realistic look because it's incredibly dark. I know how my gray wash is, and I know how it's going to lighten up. No, you don't. Yes, I do. How long what have you been mean? tattooing? Five years. So you have no idea what your heel tattoo is going to look like in 10 or 12 years. I asked for an, a portrait of an elephant, okay. and I end up getting an uncircumcised dick with one ball. And you don't want that? No. <laughs> what don't you like? Right now, how he is just it's smoke. He has no strong lines. There's no eye. I voted my tattoo as one of the worst tattoos. You did. The placement is so off because that when you turn your forearm, like I just your have arm a big ear. like this all the time, and when you turn it, there's just a big ear. It only looks right from one point of view. That's the reason why I think she should be in the bottom. She knew what she was doing. She just didn't care. You know, she just wanted to do the challenge and forget about it. You know that. I have Julia here in the shop. Do you see look me? You see me right now? This Does is, it look like I give a shit? I have to Does deal it look with. like I give a Do you want to go have a chat with her? Yes. Head on into the shop. It upsets me because you think about the whole experience and you want to be proud of it, but I don't even talk about it. I just wish it never happened. Just look at it. Clearly, Man, it, it, shows, it shows in your tattoo that you don't give a It shows in your face that you're just a douchebag. Hi. So, what's up? Look. I end up with a tattoo that looks like a dick in my arm. Um, everybody loved it. When I posted that on Instagram, I got over Did they see a heel? Do you really think this is a good tattoo? Yeah. So right now you're here based on bull and a lie. You know, the only one here who's really lying is you. 
If you're gonna come at me with an attitude, then go kick rocks. Julia, you're a fake ass bitch. And you Who are ass. you? Oh, the candy ass. Yeah, the candy ass. The ass that smelled like diarrhea the whole time. Oh, God. Look for your breath you and your stink you ass bull. Like you had no experience tattoos. tattooing a dark skinned woman, now did you? Um, no. Actually, and oh, I tattoo shit. dark skinned people a, all day. Right, which is why my tattoo is this looks all this like bunch of attitude? Which is why you can you all kick overworked rocks. my skin and left sore on my ass. Rocks. No one else here seems happy with the that you presented them with either. Are you happy? Absolutely not. Were you happy? No, absolutely not. This Why are you attacking all of us? What, ha what, what happened, happened to that voice? What happened to that, oh my god, you know, everything's gonna yeah, be my okay. my voice is good till you come and right. with me. What happened to that? You guys, hold up, hold up. What's going on? Oh, well, you know, get up tattoos. It's not just one of us. What, three of us here? The fact that I'm here, it's because I think you can do a good job, even though you up the job you did. I would love to And do... I walked in and you were screaming okay, well, let's, at let's... me. Even her little it's squeaky voice changed now. She speaks normal, apparently. I get in mom mode when people piss me off and then I get the mom <laughs> voice. Guys, let's, let's stay at the issue at hand. Sorry, I don't like seeing people unhappy. But I also don't like being attacked, you know what I mean? At least give me a hello first, we'll work it out. If you confront me with attitude, I'm gonna give you attitude back. I came here to make things right. So whoever wants to make it right, I'm down. Let's start over. Julia is saying she's willing to make it right. Who here is willing to work with Julia? Not after she yelled at me for no reason. So you're done? Mm-hmm. 100% done? 100% done. Good luck, guys. All right. My name is Frank McManus. I was on season three of Ink Master. I'm here to prove myself to other tattooers that think I suck just because I'm a young kid in this industry. Execution-wise, it's a single needle. Keeping it thin and going a little lighter would have went a long way with this tattoo. Frank. You do not have what it takes to be Ink Master. I think they made the wrong call. Getting kicked off the show so quickly made me realize that I became too comfortable. So I moved from Pennsylvania to San Francisco to challenge myself to grow as a person and an artist. I want this redemption because it's a second chance to prove who I am and what I can do. I'm ready for this this time. Feels weird to be back. I'm excited, though. I'm excited to make this happen. Fred, welcome back to Ink Master. And you brought your girlfriend, Darlene. Yes. Your artist was Frank McManus. Yes. My canvas wants a realistic baboon. It's a badass looking design. What do you think about this baboon thing? I can't even read what it is. I mean, this outline is chaotic. And this is a rough one, man. The detail just does not translate. If you just saw the tongue, you're not going to know that's a tongue. It's like a ball sack. <laughs> When he first finished the tattoo, I thought it was OK. After I got home, it just scabbed up. It was horrible. And you yourself said, why did you put the chin where his nipple is? He has a nipple growing out of the baboon's chin. That's not how they look in the wild. No, they don't. The tongue is the worst. I didn't really notice it until it was one of you guys said it. said, the tongue looks like a nutsack. And that's what he and said. And then I looked at it, I was down. like, wow, it does. It's <laughs> not good at all. Darlene, what do you think of the tattoo? I think that it's ugly now. Did you yeah. think it was ugly then? Well, it was vibrant when it first got done. But as it healed, it was unrecognizable. Are you going to make sure this doesn't happen again? I'm going to try. All right, Fred, I got Frank McManus in the shop. I want you and Darlene to head in there and let him know what you think. You guys okay. down for that? Yeah. All right, I'm counting on you, too. Thank you. <laughs> Hold down the fort. Head on in, guys. I'm embarrassed of this tattoo. Nobody ever once said, oh, that looks nice. I just can't wait to see this guy so I can get this off my chest. Because I can't get this off my chest. Where is he at? There he is, right there. I trusted you, man. Tell me what this looks like. Tell me what that is. Does that look like a baboon to you? Still looks Seriously. like a baboon to me. It looks like an yeah. alligator with his mouth broken open. This is supposed to be a like masterpiece? A that looks like a nutsack, man. This is horrible. I'm not in my own why, 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 Frank why, with the man? bold violin for you? Oh, you're, my God. you're a professional, man. You gotta do your job, man. I'm stuck with this forever. I'm sorry. I apologize. Thanks. And I'd love Thanks. to make you both happy. And I know I can do that. I'll let you check out the drawing first. I'll work with you. I don't think so. What do you think? First time, shame on him. Second time, shame on you. That's what I think. I'm telling you, I can make it happen. I doubt it. I don't want you to do this again. The whole thing was a nightmare, Frank. Guys, darling, bring it in. Come here. What can we do to make you happy? Ultimately, Frank is here for redemption. Yes, 100%. We want to make you happy. Be willing to consult with him. Let him draw something. And then if you hate it, you walk out of here. 
What about that? That can't harm anybody. Check out your sketches. Want to do that? He's the yeah, ultimate, he makes the ultimate decision. Actually, I feel that you make the ultimate decision. Am I right? I just get nasty when it's not the decision I want. Oh, it's OK, <laughs> fair enough, fair enough. We don't commit until the machine goes into the skin. Walk out of here anytime. OK. All right, brother, good luck yeah. to you. Thank you, man. All right. I'll make you happy, I promise. We'll see. What do we want to do this time, man? I got a herd sign on this arm. I'll see if I'll get mine a nice, gnarly Capricorn. OK. It's a goat now. Not a ram. Oh, right, right. Go, go. You don't want, like, anything around it or anything? No, any... yeah, no, okay. no, Frank. Don't start getting creative. Flat, easy. Don't get anything really hard. Yeah. I can do hard. I can I'm do hard. I'm scared for you to do hard, Frank. I like that one. You really gonna do it, huh? Maybe. I wanna see what his drawings look like first. And then we'll decide then. All right, man. Sounds good, bro. Dude, thank you, man. No problem. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for being nice. <laughs> Only for the moment, friend. <laughs> you want to trust this guy? I just want to know. I'm giving him the benefit of the doubt. You really like Frank, don't you? I don't want to kill him anymore. I think he might do good. I don't know, Frank. That's why it's called redemption. Let's see if he can redeem himself. I want this one right. I can show it off. Me too. Don't make him nervous. I won't make him nervous, but I will be critical of what's going on. I really want to show people who I really am, what I can really do. But I have an uphill battle here, man. I got to make both of them happy, especially her, because he's listening to her. She's intense. She's real intense. Frank, bring it down, bud. What'd you guys talk about? Getting the Capricorn symbol on my arm. Capricorn's a goat. It's a goat. It's a goat. I want the, the astrological okay. Capricorn. The astrological one has a tail on it. All right, buddy, let's take a look at what you came up with. So yeah, it's uh, the goat body with the fish tail. Is this the astrological one? Mm-hmm, yep. I have a weird looking sign there, friend. <laughs> yeah. What do you think, Charlene? You look skeptical. Uh, I am very skeptical at this point. That tail, that concerns me. Why does that concern you? It's a little too involved, and I'm a little concerned about his ability to detail. She wants a regular goat. Why don't you guys have a chat and talk about it before you make any decision? What do you think? The tail is a little fishy. You like the tail? It's a little mermaidy, right? Yes, it looks like a, a mermaid with a goat head. I don't like it, period. You don't like it? Yuck. If he makes changes to it, we'll see what happens. We talking about somebody who jacked you up already. You don't have I, to get it. I know, I don't have to get it. You don't want that. Guys, what is happening over there? You guys seem heated in debate. She doesn't like it. I think the tail is too much, Dave. Well, I reacted too. And I was like, that is weird. But that's what they look like. I don't, you know, you can't argue with that. Can he have a twink to his liking? You can make any changes yeah. you want. The tail is a little too mermaidy. Yeah, ah, it's really standing out. The tail, I keep looking at it. I can do a new tail for you so you can see. It's ultimately whatever you want. Yeah. Big decision. It sounds like a few tweaks and you might be ready to go. This is his choice. Um... So is this a green light? Are we going to move forward? I think I'm going to go with it. All right, buddy. Good luck. Let's go back to the shop, man. The tail that I wanted, it only has two pieces that just goes. Oh, cool. Yeah, we can do that. We'll use this, but I'll just draw in the two pieces. OK. Yeah. Let me see. It doesn't look bad without the yeah, tail. I'm serious. Yeah, it looks kind of hot without the tail. Yeah, I'm kind of surprised. I'm telling you, Fred. It seems like that tail should be like right here. So you get an idea of. Nah. I think it almost has Just to be. Just do the body, Frank. We know you can do more. that. Down more. Yeah. Because it, it'd be down more. And... But please don't get the tail. Don't put them under any added pressure. Just get the body. I want the tail on it. We can buy a tail. It's my arm. And if it's wrong, you're going to be miserable. A Capricorn's a weird animal anyway. So if the tail's going, so what? I'm always right, Fred. Just don't get the tail, I'm telling you. I'm getting the tail. Get the bulk of the tattoo now and wait on Zip it. Let me handle this for a minute. That's why I'm here, to help you handle it. Yeah, it's just, if we keep with the tail, man, it's going to be all out of balance. I'm glad you admitted it now. Don't overdo yeah. your what you can't do, Frank. Yeah. OK, we'll go with El Capitan over there. Thank you. And the hooves, I want them to pop. Yeah. If I wasn't here, Fred would have came home with that tail. 
Take a deep breath. And push. <laughs> Please don't add any nuts to my Capricorn goat. No balls on the goat. But man, I'm so good at balls. <laughs> I haven't gotten a tattoo since the baboon incident. Oh, yeah? And it kind of scarred me. I really want to make it right, you know what I mean? And really, really show everybody what's up. Yeah. You uh, hop up, check that out. Nice, Frank. Yeah, you dig it? Yes, I like it. I love the detail in those horns and the fur and the scales. Love the eyes. Yes. And this little goatee. Did a great job. Thanks for not beating me up. Capricorn. <laughs> Guys, come on down here. Most importantly, I'm going to start with you. What do you think? I think that removal of the tail was better to go with. I love how the swirl is, and I love the horns and the goatee. He oh, redeemed man. himself, man. How does that feel for you, man? It's a huge relief. Yeah, I'm stoked. He's off my hit list. Yeah. <laughs> I got my redemption. He's super happy. She's super happy. Thank God. Take it easy. All right. Bye, guys. Bye.